Hi guys, can you can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, good. Hi, it's good to see you again. Me ven, no sé si me ven y me escuchan bien. Sí, sí. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, so it's good to see you again, guys. Um, I'm so glad to see you again in class. Eh, qué bueno verlos a todos de nuevo en clase, listos eh, para seguir aprendiendo. And nothing, tell me what about your day? What did you do today? ¿Qué hicieron hoy? Cuéntenme. Mm -hmm. What did you do today? How are you? How do you feel? Hi, you there, Silvia? Mm -hmm. um, I am working uh, today. Um, ¿Cómo se dice en este? <laughs> ¿Cómo se dice que perdón? Eh, ¿Desde qué horas a qué horas? At, at, ¿verdad? Uh, yeah, you can say from 7 to la, hora, la otra hora. Uh, from 7 to 6 p.m. Ah, ok. So you were, you were working, estaba trabajando. You were working. Uh -huh. Thank you. A pleasure. Okay. It was like a really long day, right? But um, you are free. Are you free now? Like, libre? Ya está libre? Ya terminó? Si me, me dijo. Yes. Yeah. Uh, uh, 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. Okay, excellent. Um, but it was a good day. What? Was it a good day? Un buen día? Um, yes, 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 I do. Okay, perfect. It was a really good day for me. Um, yeah, I, I had. Mm, well, I, I had a lot of things to do, but um, I was like um, cleaning my room. I, I always want to, I, I, I always need to clean my room and I, I never want to do it, uh, but I need that. I need, I know I need to do it. And um, I, I do it frequently. I, I wish I could do it um, all the time, but no, I don't do it all the time. And I was like, well, I'm a little bit tired because I wake up so early today and because I needed to do a lot of things in my home. And um, I saw my friends and today, like uh, my, my friends for the, for the college, and we went to, to, to have a lunch and I bought myself a little jacket because I really wanted one. And I I was like um waiting for 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 a really good one. And um I watched like um some leather jackets in some places like Bershka and all of these things, and they are so expensive. So I found um a leather jacket in Siman. Um and it was like not cheap but not expensive right it, it was like middle and middle so i said i'm going to buy it yeah and like i, I that's the reason why i work so i think it was a really good day and nothing um i am very sleepy right now tengo un sueño así que por favor no se vea no me vea raro si me estoy para bostezar en la clase anterior hubo un momento donde sentí que me estaba quedando dormida pero es, es que estoy muy cansada but I'm here I'm here I promise um, solo estoy un poquito cansada y siento que que ya necesito irme a mimir but I'm fine I hope that you are fine too that you really had a good day that everything in your in your 
in your home it's good and i think we can start with with the uh, with the i with the topic for today i'm sorry se me había ido la palabra and ahora sí nos funciona el nos funciona la plataforma no sé qué le pasaba ayer que no estaba funcionando pero hoy sí funciona entonces hoy sí vamos a poder hacer la conversación Les voy a mostrar mi pantalla y vamos a verlo. Avísenme cuando la puedan ver. Vamos a iniciar con esta parte de la conversación. Creo que la quité, ¿verdad? ¿Ya no la ven? No. No. Ok. Se les voy a presentar otra vez. Quizás yo la quité. Can you see it right now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to read this conversation that is my new apartment. Um, you can see that this is a little conversation about an apartment and all the things that you can find into our home. And it's like a, we can link it with the past tense, with the past topic and with the next topic. So we're going to read this conversation that is in my new apartment okay so for this i need two volunteers for help me to read necesito dos voluntarios para ayudarme a leer you can raise your hand okay jennifer maricela va a ser linda y me falta alguien que sea chris Quiero ver. Silvia. Ok, Jennifer va a ser linda y Silvia va a ser Chris. Ok, guys, we can start with the conversation, my new apartment. Go, girls. Ok. Uh, what's what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is like? It's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room. A uh, small bedroom, a uh, bathroom, and a kitchen. What is it? Oh, yeah, like your drive. Oh, nice. Doesn't have a view. A view? Yes, it does. It does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Excellent. Thank you so much. This was a conversation about my new apartment, okay? Uh, first of all, do you have any questions about the pronunciation of, of some word or the vocabulary? What's the meaning, Wes? Wes what? Uh, what? Again, again, again. Pregúntame, ¿no? Guess what? Ah, guess what? what? Es como adivina qué. Ah, ok. Ajá, es guess. Se dice guess. Guess what? Es como guess. adivina qué. Uh -huh. Yeah. Thank you. A pleasure. This is guess what? Es como adivina qué. All <laughs> right. Linda is like very exciting to have a new apartment. So... She go with Chris and she says like, guess what? I have a new apartment. And it was, she was very excited of it, right? Guess what? Adivina que, okay? Is there another question?
Leslie. And Lake View. Ah, Lake View es, es un lugar. Sí, Lake View es un lugar. No es una traducción, sino que Lake View Drive es, es el lugar. Puede ser la avenida, la calle, el, la colonia, uh, la ciudad. Sí, um, es, es el lugar donde está ubicado el apartamento. Estaba haciéndole preguntas como sobre su apartamento y le dice, um, where is it? ¿Dónde está? Y le dice que está en Lake View Drive. Lake View Drive es como... Si les digo que está mi casa en la Montserrat, por ejemplo, les digo en el Boulevard Constitución, ¿sí? Cuando me, mm, dicen Lakeview Drive, es like, like this, ¿ok? O allá en, en, no, en Altavista, por ejemplo. Es, es, es eso mismo, eso mismo, es un lugar. No tiene una traducción específica. ¿Ok? That, that's it. Mm -hmm. Thank you. A pleasure. Do you have any more questions? No more. No more. Everything is clear. Yes. Okay, perfect. So this was a conversation. I'm going to stop my presentation and we're going to go to the... presentation. Can you see it right now? Yes, I can see. Okay, perfect. So the topic for today is who is it? Re yesterday we were talking about like the simple present that is the topic that we are seeing right now. And we were talking about like the simple present to describe people too. So when you are describing people, you need to know who is it, okay? When I say, who is it? You are going to give me a little description about that, uh, that people so I can know who is it. I can know what's the subject that we are talking about. So this is the, the, the topic for today. First of all, I need I just need to remember the simple present, okay? Enumeramos tres cositas específicas para la que es el simple present. Do you remember? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Subject plus verb plus complement. Okay. Yes, of course. This is like the structure when we are talking in positive, we use subject, verb, and complement. Okay. And why do we use the simple present? Decíamos que hay tres cosas específicas para las que se utiliza el simple present. ¿Para qué es? Permanent stain, daily routine, y general Okay, excellent. Permanent states, their routines, general situations. Okay, like three ways. And the other way is when we are using the simple present with to be. Uh, we talk about like um the we talk about with an adjective of with a verb. Do you remember yesterday I was talking about it? When we are describing a a, a subject, we um we are talking about a permanent state, like for example, the color of his or her hair, um, if he or she is kind or angry or busy or lovely or something like that, right? Um, like if he or she is tall um, and all of these things. So we use a simple present to talk about these things because they are permanent states. So this is the things that we are going to do, that we are going to see today. The topic is who is it? We're going to see some, we're going to have like an activity and we're going to see like a little, uh, well, we're going to see some of, of famous, some of famous people and we're going to try to describe it, okay? To describe it. 
Remember when you are describing some people, you are going to say, we're going to use adjectives that is like las características de las personas, como sus estados de ánimo, si son uno enojado, si son altos o no, son sus características físicas, psicológicas y eh, emocionales, right? This is like the things that we describe. For example, if I can describe my mom, I will say that she is a little bit angry and she has a black hair um she is so fun for um korean series um she doesn't know english and she enjoyed to cook budin uh she really loved to bake budin and she does a really good pupusas and she is pretty she is brilliant she is um like a really good person she is um good looking and outcome and um she is uh she has a a, a, a white skin and she is very tall yeah not like me she is tall right so this is like a little description of my mom and i am talking about my mom because i am trying to describe these people okay let's just describe my mama como un ejemplo de cómo podemos ir describiendo a las personas. Las descripciones de las personas no solamente se basan en, en ay, no solamente se basan en lo, en lo físico, que sí, también se basan en lo emocional y en las características de esa persona, como las cosas que le gustan y todas estas cosas que ustedes ya saben que son simple present. So, Remember that when we are using the simple present with talking positive, we use the subject, the verb, and the complement. In negative, we use the subject, the auxiliary to our does, the verb, and the complement. And in questions, we use the auxiliary, the, uh, the subject then, then the verb, and then the complement, okay? This is really simple. We saw it, so I need to know if you have any questions about it. Esto ya lo vimos y fue un ejercicio bastante fácil, así que quiero saber si alguien tiene alguna pregunta acerca de ello. No, everything no. is good. Yeah. Solo les quiero recordar los frequency adverbs, no se los voy a mencionar todos otra vez, porque ya lo hicimos dos veces, creo. So remember that you can use it when you want to talk about something. And when you are describing people, you can use the frequency adverbs. Like, for example, my mom always, always drink water. <laughs> my mom always drinks water. Okay, mi mamá siempre toma agua. Always drinks water. Um, my mom hardly ever go out with his, with her friends, right? Eh, casi nunca sale con sus amigos. My mom, um, my mom does the, the um, my, my mom cleans, my mom cleans two, uh, two times in a week the house, right, the house. So you can use the frequency adverse when you are describing people. This is just an example. So we're going to continue with this. Si ya no tienen preguntas, vamos a continuar con esta actividad. So this is a speaking activity and we're going to describe some of these, um, of these famous people. Son personas famosas que ustedes ya conocen. And I really love these people. So uh, I choose it because I like it. And you can talk about it, okay? Pueden describirlas. Um, you can, I need you to, to tell me at least three things that you saw in this, in this girl. Who is this? ¿Quién es ella? She's Shakira. Shakira, of course. She is Shakira. Okay, Shakira creo que es un personaje que todos conocemos. So the question is, describe who is yeah. this? Ok, puede ser una descripción basada en lo que ve, que es lo físico y también lo que usted conoce de la persona. Sí, como en dónde nació, si tiene talento, si todas estas cositas las podemos ir utilizando. So, um, eh, nothing. Tell me, do you have any questions about it? ¿Alguna pregunta acerca de esto? No, no. 
Ok, so I need a volunteer to start. Vamos a empezar como con voluntarios, right? Vamos a al menos cuatro personas distintas a describir a cada personita. So we're going to start with Shakira. Who wants to describe Shakira? Raise your hand. Silvia, ok. Silvia. Uh -huh. She's from Colombia. He's very intelligent. Um, she has two sons. Um, she is beautiful. Yeah, she's so pretty. Okay, that's it? Yes. Thank you so much, Silvia. Applause to you. You did it so great. Okay, look at this. Just as you did it, Silvia, how we're going to do it. Okay, the next one is Andrea Alejandra. Okay, Andrea, tell me, who is this? Uh, she is very good at moving her hip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, we're trying to describe like in team, right? Estamos haciéndolo como en equipo, right? Excellent. Thank you so much, Andrea. Okay, look at this. You can hear about the, the, the answer of Silvia and Andrea that they are talking about Shakira. Okay, let me see. ¿Quién levantó la manita? Patricia, tell me. She has friends. Sorry, uh, sorry. She, she is a friendly. Ah, she is friendly. She is friendly. Uh -huh. Friendly. She is uh, a, a, she is a singer, singer intelligent, como una cantante muy inteligente. Yeah, like a brilliant singer. Ajá, claro. Mm -hmm. Y solo es. Okay, yeah. Thank you so much, Patricia. You did it so great. Okay, we're talking about Shakira and it's very good. Okay, let me see. Demi. Hello. She's, uh, she had two songs in Traveling to War. He's a singer very famous. That's it. Only. Okay. Thank you so much. The correct pronunciation of this word is famous. Famous. Okay. Famous. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's a really good singer and she's pretty famous, right? Es, es, es muy inteligente y aparte es muy buena cantante, right? She is pretty famous. Okay. Thank you so much. Who else want to, wants to share, wants to describe Shakira? Erika, yeah, Erika. Eh, Shakira moves her hips very well, and and her voice is a uh, beautiful. Okay. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Only that. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, she moves her hips really good. I really love it. I wish I could do that. It's amazing. I really love it. Okay. Thank you so much, Erika Lisset. Okay. This was about Shakira. And we are talking about this character. And we're going to pass to the next one. Okay. Vamos a pasar a la siguiente. This is one of my favorite singers in the world. I really love these people. Tell me who is this? ¿Quién es ella? She is Taylor Swift. She's Taylor Swift, right? She's pretty famous because she's like, uh, she just, um, she just show us like a speak now Taylor's version because she is recovering the his albums que, que fueron robados y los está regrabando. So she is pretty famous, and I really, I really love Taylor Swift. Okay, so we're going to describe Taylor Swift. Also remember that you can talk about like uh, things that are physical like también podemos hablar de sus de sus ojos de su 
color de boca, de su color de pelo, and all of these things when you are describing someone. También hablamos de todo lo demás. So who wants to start describing Taylor Swift? Silvia. Mm -hmm. uh, she's blonde and tall sería delgada, ¿verdad? Yeah, like a teeny. Teeny. Her eyes are blue. Mm -hmm. Are beautiful. Okay. It's a uh, uh, famous singer. Yeah, of course. So famous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. That's it? That's Okay. Remember that the pronunciation of ice is ice? <laughs> the, the ojos is ice. Ice. His, uh, her eyes. Her eyes are blue and she's so famous and all these things. Okay. Excellent, you did it so great, Silvia. Okay, let me see who wants to do the, the who wants to, to, to be the next. Jennifer, Marisela, y luego Andrea, okay. Okay, she's a Brazilian woman. Because when uh, Kanye West to try the human, the yeah, yeah, she she don't cry uh, in front of the people. She uh she trying to smile, and yeah, she she work of very very uh mucho más for for. She came to be, uh, will to be a uh, uh, big fan today. Excellent. She yeah. is pretty strong, right? Because she she didn't um she didn't cry and um she continued with with her with her career um even with all the hate um that she received in in that years like uh creo que fue en 2016. And that happened, but she's strong and she is now um, one of the famous singers in the world. So she's so strong, of course. Okay, me hacía falta yeah. alguien, creo que era Andrea, y luego Jacqueline. Eh, solamente que eh, she is very cute and tall. Yeah, she's so tall. I really love Taylor Swift, she's so tall. And she's so cute. She's, she's so pretty. I really love Taylor Swift. Okay. Thank you so much, Andrea. Jacqueline. Um, also, she loves Kat. And she's a singer. And she always uses high heels. Yeah, she always uses high heels. I don't know how he how she can. Um, she's always using high heels in in her presentations. As you can see in the concerts, she's using like she really loves boats. Uh, a ella le encantan, le fascinan las botas. Solamente usa botas en todos sus vestuarios. So she she really loves boats, and they are like a really high heels boats. Um, I I don't know how she can, but she do it, and I really love Taylor Swift. Of course, she's amazing. Um, yeah, okay. Thank you so much, and um, Jacqueline. Who else wants to describe Taylor Swift? Bueno, más para Taylor. Yeah. No one else? No one else. Okay. I, I think that we uh we did um 
we said like a lot of things about Taylor Swift and the conclusion is like she is um, intelligent, brilliant, cute, famous, and a really loving person who cares about his fan, about her fans. And we love Taylor Swift. Okay, let's continue with the next people. Okay, do you know who, who, is, who is this? Do you know who is this? She is Miley Cyrus. Smiley Cyrus, right? She she did like flowers that was the I think that's the latest um a song and she's so famous, right? So who wants to describe Miley Cyrus? It's crazy. <laughs> crazy. Uh, yeah, she's not crazy. She's like, um, I think she's so free. Ella es muy libre. Más que loca creo que es libre. And I really love her. Okay. Jennifer? Mm -hmm. Yes. You know, in my personal opinion, sorry, uh, she's uh, beautiful. Is a controlled controversial woman is a uh, very free uh, she uh, sang her with her heart con su corazón her heart her heart her heart her heart is i think she's not uh Juzgando. A uh, judging? A uh, judging other people. Yeah. Yeah. yeah she is a, is a person only. It's not. She. No se cree Dios. She, do, she doesn't yeah. believe that she is like God. Yeah. Okay. I love my Cyrus. I love my Cyrus. Yeah. Yes, of course. She is so pretty. Okay, thank you so much. Who else wants to describe Taylor's? Uh, sorry, Miley Cyrus. Silvia. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a power woman. Yeah. Um, I love your sincerity. Yeah, I really love her sincerity too. Um, I love like the, the Wrecking Ball and video and all the people like were judging her because she was like naked, estaba desnuda en el video, but she was talking about all the, the suffering that she was passing for and I think like all the people just saw her body and know her feelings, so I really love Miley Cyrus because she is intelligent, is brilliant and she is um an example like to be feminist and i really love miley cyrus of course thank you so much okay the last people creo que es el único sí who is this do you know who is this it's a hamster como saben quién es él no? Sorry, no. He's part. Uh, yeah, he, he is part of one of my favorite series in the world. He is um Ian Summerhalder and he is Damon Salvatore in Vampire's Diaries. Uh, Vampire's Diaries is one of my favorite series. Se llama Diarios de Vampiros y él es un vampiro en la, en la serie. So I really love Damon Salvatore and he is Ian Summerhalder. Eh, ese es el nombre del actor, Ian Summerhalder. And she's so handsome. I really love him. So, who wants to describe Ian Summerhalder? It's very handsome, but I don't know who is him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very you handsome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
Yeah, he's so handsome. Dato curioso, está casado con, no sé si vieron Crepúsculo, pero la actriz que hace de Rosalie está casada con él. So, ambos hicieron papeles de vampiros. Él es vampiro en Vampire's Diaries y Rosalie fue vampiro en Crepúsculo. So, dato interesante. I really love Ian Somerhalder. And she's a really good friend. He's, sorry, he is a really good friend for Paul. Uh, Paul Weasley, who is like the other character in Vampire's Diaries. I really love these people. So who wants to describe this? Even if you don't, you, if, even if you don't know who is him, you can see the image and describe like her eyes or her hair or something like this. And he's a really good actor. Mm -hmm. No one else. That's it. Okay. This, that was Ian. She, uh, he has a blue eyes and they are so pretty. I really love him. Okay. You did it so great with the speaking activity, with, with this speaking activity and we're going to have another speaking activity. I'm going to give you like um the the um, uh, the things that we're going to do today is like a speaking activity is describe yourself or a friend or relative relatives son familiares okay describirse a ustedes mismos a un amigo o a una persona así como escribimos a Shakira así como escribimos a Taylor Swift describimos a Miley describimos a Ian Ok, así nosotros vamos a escribir. Usted lo dije. Si se quiere escribir usted a un amigo o a alguien de su familia, su hermano, su hermana, su abuela, su mamá, sus hijos, right? You can describe someone, ok? Y quiero que me digan al menos cinco cosas de esa persona, ok? Al menos cinco cositas de esa persona. Punto. Les voy a poner siempre en las breakup rooms si ya ustedes saben qué hacer. And go, guys. You can go. Get into the break on rooms, please.
I think we are all getting back. Okay, everyone is here, right? Okay, so tell me how was the exercise? Who wants to share your exercise? You can raise your hand. Mm -hmm. Who wants to? Guys, you there? Who wants to share the exercise? I can share. Yes. Sylvia, okay. <laughs> um, my favorite person is my son, my old son. Mm -hmm. He is 50 years old. He likes play soccer every day. He studied uh, octavo grade, octavo grade. Eighth grade. Mm -hmm. uh, at the school Mas Ferrer in, in Santa Tecla. Mm -hmm. He's very intelligent. Mm -hmm. He's very tall. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> huh? Sí. Y, ay, ¿Cómo se dice comelón? Que le bien comelón. <laughs> um, like, um, Ay, tiene una palabra. But you can say that he's very hungry. <laughs> he always has, like, he always is, he's always starving. Ay, se me traba la lengua. He's always <laughs> starving. Like, siempre se está muriendo de hambre. Sí, pero lo bueno que no engorda. Comí, comí, no engorda. Yo creo que comelón es eater, pero no estoy segura. <laughs> no, eater. Pero no estoy tan segura de que se utilice tanto esa palabra. Pero mi, mi, mi intuición me dice que sí. Está so, hambriento. Hungry. No. Hungry. Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> He is your favorite person. Yes. <laughs> Ay, qué bonito. Like, I, I really love it. Just, just like yes. moms and moms. Okay. Thank you so much, Silvia. Thank you for sure your exercise. Thank you, teacher. Everything was so good with your exercise. Thank you. Ok, guys, you did it so great with this. Uh, les digo, no les escucho uno por uno porque pues son demasiados, pero espero que todos hagan sus ejercicios y todos los pongan en sus libretitas para que no se les olvide, ok, la práctica hace el maestro. So, solo les quiero recordar que tienen que llenar la plataforma. Esta semana es la sección número 3, sí, la sección número 3. Así que no se les olvide, la sección número 3 y el midterm tienen que hacerlo esta semana. Así que no se tracen en la plataforma y cualquier cosa, ya saben que estamos en el grupo de WhatsApp para apoyarles. So, do you have any more questions about the class or something? No? For me, no, teacher. Everything is clear. Yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. So Thank if you, you don't, okay, perfect. If you don't have any more questions, we're going to continue tomorrow. Okay. I'm going to see you tomorrow, guys. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow, bye. Bye. See you.